Hello everyone, welcome back to the guide bait modeling series. So last time we did a body design using the pipe form and after I published the video, I was still not very satisfied. So I went back and modified a little bit. Initially, I was just moving the edges and the faces around. But after a while, I felt it's not enough for me to control the details. So I had to add more segments. For example, in this head area, I want to add another segment. So I went to Modified, Insert Edges, and then select the edge that's gonna be parallel to the new edge. And you can select multiple edges. And the yellow one is just there by default because of the symmetry. Then you drag the blue arrow to the position you want, and you will have the new segment. Similarly, I added another segment around the belly area. And on top of that, I also add another edge just around the belly area. Uh, so I can have more definition and create a fat trout look. Here I'm showing the result of using the insert edge. And as you can see, with insert edge, I can only move the edge in each segment with the same percentage. But uh, actually, I want them to be at a different percentage. So instead of using the insert edge, I'm using insert point. So with insert point, you can define the end point of each edge at the segment boundary. This will give you a better control of how you want the faces to be. Now I can really sculpt the belly portion. Alright, let's get to today's topic, gill plate. Let's create a gill plate profile. Go to create sketch and select the plane we want to put the sketch on. And zoom in, and hide the body and uh, use the spline. So just rough, roughly trace out the profile. Here I want to cover the entire head instead of just the gill plate area something like this and then we can adjust the point in the greater detail I think this is good So now I want to cut this profile out from the body. Um, to do that, we can do split body to split and split in two is the profile, this guy. And if I say OK, I'll get two pieces. One is the gill plate, one is the body. But as you can see, they're not intersecting. So when I move the gill plate, or do any changes, it might leave some gaps. So I don't want that. What I want to do is uh, actually can do two things. One is to uh, extrude the profile and then do intersecting the body and create a new object. And the other option is combine. Select target body. This guy, tool body is the gill plate. Now when I combine, I want to keep tool. And this will end up two pieces. One is gill plate and one is the body by itself. So let's say this is a gill plate. And this is the body. So what I can do is I can pull the gill plate piece out, rotate to the right angle. But I'm not going to do that. Here I'm going to just uh, do a scale in the Z direction. So let's do that. Uh, modify, scale, select the bo uh, name the wrong guy. I want to scale the gill plate. Scale. 
your plate in Z direction one point make hundred three say OK and you can see just ignore the other side because I'm gonna trim it so we have this gill plate extruding out from the side and I want to combine the gill plate to the body itself so that tool I don't want to keep tool so merge everything so doing that I will have this intersecting line which I will use a fillet to smooth it out and I don't know how big I can go but I will try to go as big as I can 1000 still thinking okay so now I have this smooth transition between the gill plate and the main body and also I have this uh, gill plate extruding out on the side next I'm going to work on this line on the cheek which is not an extruding feature like the gill plate but it's just a line carved into the gill plate so create sketch select the plan and now I need to enable 3d sketch do spline and now when you move to the plate you can see it's highlighted in a different color which means you are enabling this 3d sketch now if I start drawing the spline you'll see it gives you some fancier option but we're not going to use it yet and you can see you start to draw the point on the surface just make those line okay and say okay finish sketch and you can see this line is actually on the surface pretty cool this is the first time I'm using this feature so I guess I'm gonna use it a lot now because it's very useful so now I need to move it to the more precise location you can always do that after the fact next is to carve into this line the idea is I'm going to use uh, loft option and then I will create some profile along the line so it has some profile to follow let's just draw some line disable 3d sketch make it a construction line finish sketch now construct plan through line plan at angle select this line 90 degree okay now we have those plans and we can draw the carving profile on those plans so let's work on one first so let's say plan 3 this guy okay so let's hide the body for now create sketch select the plan and enable it again first we need to find out uh, where the this curve intersect with the plan so to do that we do create and project intersect and now we select the curve say ok and th that's the point so now let's draw the profile oops just need to be uh, big enough okay so I think that's good for now let's uh, let's remove this 
constraint okay so now that's one profile and let's do the other one now let's do this one plan number two okay so do the same procedure finish okay now you can see I have this two little profile along this path let's try two first uh, because I have three plans ready for this procedure but uh, let's try two first and see if that's enough go to create loft and select the endpoint for the first profile so profile can be a point because I want the profile to taper in to this shape to this profile and then taper out to this point so let's pick this profile and pick this profile as a second one third and we need to be careful we need to pick the profile not the point and then fourth okay now we need to follow this guideline as rail so say choose this as a rail and you can see it's uh, very smooth taper in taper out and let's see if we cut it with a uh, uh, gill cover using the cut operation say okay here uh, this is a little bit closing too much so maybe I need a I can try to adjust that profile the second one and see if uh, we'll make a better yeah this point might need to be lower you can see it's uh, start to lower that cut okay I think that's good enough so this is how you carve into the surface the curved surface and as you can see we don't really need that third plane so I'm gonna delete that for this line under the jaw I also use the same technique so first I draw a 3D sketch on the jaw area like so and then I create a plan so I can draw the carving profile on that plan so first draw a line and then plan that angle like that then I create the profile and this time I create some smooth uh, edge for this profile and then do the loft and you might stop right there but uh, if you look closer there is still an intersect line and that's not smooth so if you do a cross-section analysis you can see that bottom carve at the edge it's not very smooth it's a little bit edgy right there at this point so what you can do is add the fillet in that area instead of a regular fillet you can do a variable fillet so what I did here was change the radius type from constant to variable then you select three extra points at the various position basically you stretch the endpoints inward so you can add fillets away from the endpoints that's where the limitation is so I specify point one here point five here and point nine here to be three extra points so from start to this point one position we don't do anything but from this point we start to do fillet by doing so we avoid adding the fillet towards the end point where we just don't have enough space to add more radius for the fillet I did that for both and if you do the analysis again you can see there's no sharp edge anymore but originally it was not too bad so maybe this is not necessary only if you are very picky so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here for this line so say okay here 
and now you have smoother edge in this area. Something like this. Next, let's draw the outline for this uh, flaring skirt thingy under the gill plate. Let me try. It's called Brankia Steagle Rays. Again, we'll use the 3D sketch. Enable 3D sketch. And you can see that picture. It's basically starting from somewhere here. So I want to draw all the way to the top. Something like that. And again, I will do the indent on this side first, and then I will do the Brankia Stego Rays in the end. Need to define outlines on different section. Now I have those little profiles that I can do loft with. All right, now we have that. Now let's smooth out this line. Finally, let's work on those Brankia Stego rays. So first I'm gonna draw some 3D lines on the bottom of the gill cover. And then I will make the pipe form based on those lines. And then I'll merge those pipe form with the main body. Finally, after combining the pipe form to the gill cover, we are done. So in this video, I learned a few new techniques. Hope you guys do as well. If you think this episode helps, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this. I will see you in the next chapter. Happy modeling!